pilot. John Myotel was one of these young men aboard the USS Hancock. The first planes that I flew uh, on the carrier were the old uh, prop planes. We did six landings in those, and then we were naval aviators. We got our wings. Sleek and high-powered, the F-8 was a quantum leap forward in technology. To reach top speeds of Mach 1.2, the jet required a deck catapult to propel it into the air. First catapult shot, which I got in an F-8, uh, no catapults before that, uh, I mean, it is a real revelation, I'll say that. It, it is just going from zero to 150 miles an hour in about three seconds. And uh, then you're out over the blue water and you're on your own. Deck launches were a challenge, but they were nothing compared to the high-speed landings. The uh, stern of the carrier always looked pretty small to us. And you have to come in at a certain angle of attack as you're approaching the carrier, you have to slow down. With heavy use, pilots and crews soon discovered a design problem in the early Crusaders. There were some weak points in the landing gear that would cause the gear or the nose wheel to collapse when the plane touched down on the deck. Crash landings and planes going overboard were all too common. Pilots were lost too. John watched helplessly as his friend's nose gear gave way and the F-8 veered out of control. There's a lot of radio traffic, and somebody on the ship says, bail out, bail out now. Well, he was too low. We had to be at 2,000 feet before we bailed out. But he did, before I could stop him and say, don't do it. Uh, and uh, the plane went in, and he also went in. His chute was, never had a chance to open. It was, it was terrible. And I thought to myself at the time, you better watch out or you're next. Then John himself experienced a crash. The plane then veered to the left and rolled over the side of the ship and I looked up and here was the wake going by me of the ship. So I got myself out of the cockpit and came finally when I realized I was still alive, I was waiting for the plane to come down on top of me. But uh, I looked up and saw this wonderful circle of light and, and green water above me so I pulled for the surface. Within our it's a short period of time we, uh, of training, in two years, we went through something like 14 aircraft, a full squadron of aircraft, and not all F-8, but uh, that's a pretty respectable number, and, and the attrition rate was very, very high in those days. The F-8 Crusader remained in the fleet until the end of the Vietnam War and in the Navy Reserves until the 1980s. A restored Crusader is now on exhibit at the USS Hornet Museum. It bears John Mayatel's name, a mark of honor. Although his carrier days are behind him, John still has vivid memories of flying supersonic. You can look down and you can see the city and you can look down and you see the black ocean and you look up and you see the stars. It reminds me of an old song called Racing with the Moon. And that's just what you're doing. You're racing along through the sky, supersonic, and partnering with the moon on your wing.